Question 21. Here is a speed time graph for a car journey. The journey took 100 seconds. The car travelled 1.75 kilometres in the 100 seconds, and we need to work out the value of that. On a speed time graph, the distance travelled is the area under the graph. So, we need to calculate the area of under the graph, under the graph set it equal to 1.75, and we can work out the value of B. So, let's separate this into three sections, A, B, and C. So for section A, the area is 20, multiplied by V, then divided by 2, since it's a triangle. That's 10V. For area B, the, length from the, dis uh, the time taken from here to here is 40 seconds, multiplied by V, which is 40V. And for C, this is 40 seconds again, multiplied by V, and divided by 2, since it's a triangle. 20v. So in total, we have 10v, 40v, and 20v. So 70v equals 1.75 kilometers. But we want the speed in meters per second. So let's convert this into meters, 1,700 meters. Finally, V is 1,750 divided by 70, 25 meters per second. Next, we need to describe the acceleration of the car for each part. So at this point, the slope stays at the same gradient the entire time. So for A, we call that constant acceleration. For B, the speed stays the same the entire time, and a constant speed means there's no acceleration. And for C, the speed is decreasing at the same rate over the entire time period, so that would be constant, but instead of acceleration, it's deceleration. 